Hi everyone, I'm Joe Perello in Brockton, where Visiting St. John's began its quest for a state championship in a scrimmage against the host boxers. Now the Pioneers return one of the most explosive offenses in the state as their Oregon-style blur scheme utilizes the no huddle and quarterback Drew Smiley hurting defenses equally with his arm and with his legs. But that potent St. John's offense struggled early as the young offensive line adjusted to handling Brockton's physical front. The boxers were able to hit preseason All-State quarterback Drew Smiley often, and it led to Smiley forcing several balls into coverage, leading to a pair of interceptions. But chalk that up to early season rust because the pioneer attack got going midway through the scrimmage. Running back Shane Combs took this screen pass from Smiley to the house. The junior transfer from St. Louis added a score on the ground, and Smiley got in rhythm, completing difficult throws on the run and downfield. But Coach John Andrioli knows that the only way his team will meet expectations will be if it can improve defensively. The Pioneers allowed nearly 30 points a game in 2012, but the veteran coach came away from the scrimmage pleased with the way his front handled Brockton's sizable offensive line. Up front, uh, Josh Angel, sophomore nose tackle, um, did a heck of a job. He's uh, just a, you know, he just plays big and heavy in the middle. Uh, and our two ends, uh, Mitch Early and, uh, and Jeff Domango, did a, a fine job today. So we, today we had a good day on defense. And Another player to watch for the Pioneers will be Davon Jones. The talented junior is known to come up and lower the boom from his safety spot on defense, and St. John's is hoping he can develop into one of the best receivers in the state as well. His coach has been impressed with his aggressive and intelligent play thus far. Well, you know, first of all, he's a football player. You know, I mean, he, uh, you know, he's always around the ball. Uh, he's a physical kid on both sides of the ball. So when he's, when he, you know, his yards after ca uh, catcher, you know, just yards that he earns and grinds out by being physical. Uh, you know, there's no doubt he has a real high ceiling just on his football IQ and his ability to play the game physically. While the Pioneers didn't look quite as explosive as they did last year, they did show the ability to move the ball, and the defense does appear to be much improved. Of course, the big question is now, will it be good enough for them to get past rival Lemonster in Central Mass so that they can compete for a state championship? Reporting in Brockton, I'm Joe Perello, ESPN Boston and SweetSports.com.